Good morning. Good morning. You sure? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, replayers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone tuning on. I'm going to go ahead and get started because we got to hit Charleston. And it's some nasty weather out there. So, we're going to get started. Good morning, Laura. We're going to go with this um, darker pink right here. How are you, baby? I haven't seen you in forever. And we're just going to put this all over the eye. Good morning, Miss Heidi. How are you? We're going to play with the Lottie um, Dazzle palette this morning. And if you haven't ever seen the Lottie Dazzle palette, you're totally missing out. And these are limited editions. So, yes, we will be playing with this mama this morning. How are you doing, Laura? Please feel free to um, like and share this video. Good and welcome to. Sorry about that. The alarm clock. Is now we're going to go in with Lottie. I don't know why I put that other palette up because I'm probably going to need it again. I will need it again. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, so we're going to go in. Feel free, um, Heidi, whenever you get a chance to share it on my personal Facebook page or share it on your Facebook page and then just tag me in it. Do you love them? I know you did. So we're going to go in with this um, light pink or this lighter pink. And we're probably going to go in with this one as well because my leggings are black, silver, and then it's got this pink and this pink in it. So we're probably going to use both of these. We'll see. That's good. Which I knew you would. It's just that amazing. So I'm going in. This is not Lime Lots. This is the Sigma um, E25. Um, if it's not Lime Lots, then it's got to be a Sigma brush. Because they are just amazing. And if you don't have professional makeup brushes, I highly encourage you to get them. Because they make a ton of difference, for sure. And just tapping it, I mean, a little bit goes a long way. Good morning, Rose. Morning, Ashley. Y'all feel more than welcome to share this broadcast. I do a lot of my blending as I go. That way I know what I'm dealing with and I don't have a bunch of colors thrown on here and then they don't look right. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? 
So this is the Lottie. We're going to play with this one and this one. That's horrible about them cheerleaders, isn't it? It's horrible. How do you get your brows so pretty and perfect? These are not natural, honey. I actually do not have any brows, but very little. Um, I'm actually going in two weeks to get them 3D microbladed on. But what I do is, um, um, I know I hardly ever listen to the news, but I stay with my mom last night, so maybe her mom's. Um, I just take my spoolie and um, a thin, thin brush. You can see how thin that is. And I just dip it into um, our setting spray. I dip my brush in our setting spray. And then I just go in and I use the jet black on mine. Because I have black hair. So I use the jet black on mine. Um, but you could use like this one. And you could probably get away with this one. This one's probably going to be too dark. So you could probably go with this one and this one. That's how I do it. Um, <clears throat> never been a fan of really drawing on my brows, but I have to do it because otherwise I'll look crazy. Brows are the windows to your eyes. So I cannot wait for, uh, I think it's, I can't remember when it is. Not this coming Friday, I think it's the next Friday. Yeah, I know yours is super blonde. Alright, so I think we got enough pink on for right this moment. We're going to go in with this darker pink. Okay, we just used this one. We're going to go in with this one right here now. And we're just going to focus this right here on this outer um, corner right here. And I'm going to use this instead of the black to smoke this out. I'm just going to use this darker pink. Cranberry color, if you may, I guess you would say. Disney. Did you call Michaela? Thank you. Hey Nicole, how are you, baby girl? Yeah. 
Okay, so see we did more of a um, seven instead of a V. That way it's better to pull them lids up. I know, Nicole, um, I got to go to Charleston today, but I would really love um, to talk with you before you make... And um, Jess told me you had the flu. I um, hope you feel better, baby. So with hooded eyes, if you make the V instead of, and I still do, um, um, if you make a seven instead of the V, the seven lifts the eye up. So see, this is more of like a seven, this is more like a V, and you can tell the difference. Um, I can, you can tell the difference. How this list lifts this eye up, and this one isn't. It's more like bunched together. So that's if that's why the seven is done. And I just really cannot see over here because I'm at Mama's and her lot and it's totally different than mine. I got my Ricky Mira, but it's still when you're out of your zone, you're out of your zone. Oh my Jesus. Sorry, I'm going to go back in with some of this lighter pink. Just a lot in this up, just a little bit more. Thank you for the hearts. Please feel free to share this broadcast. You're more than welcome to. My inbox fills up. Can I share this? Can I share this? You're more than welcome to share anything on my page. All right, so that's enough of Lottie. So this is the Lottie palette. If you're interested in the Lottie palette, you better jump on and grab it because they are a limited edition. Those were made from Lottie. She's a professional makeup artist. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. So um, we're going back in with the Feeling Neutral palette. I'm going to pick up some of this black carrot under the lash line. And all I'm doing is just going over my tattoos right here. Over this liner. Hey, Courtney girl, how are you? Hey, Stephanie. How are you feeling, baby?
Are you back in Conway, Courtney? Living in Conway? With the feeling is neutral palette, I'm going to go back in with this darker um, baby pink. And then this one, I'm going to highlight under the brows. This one is going to be on the lid. Makeup question. Why do all tutorials show I make up first? I've tried it, but I take part of when I put on my foundation. My eyes have always done. Southern Charleston, Courtney. Ashley, I do my eyes for fallout. That way, if there's any fallout as far as my um, eyeshadow is concerned, I can just clean that up without wiping off any of my foundation. And that's why. So I'm going to take this, lot, this lighter pink. It's like light, 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 light pink. We're going to highlight under those brows again. And I, um, Ashley, I used to do my, um, my face first and then my eyes, but cleaning up fallout is something I really can't stand to do. So then I'm going to go in with this darker pink right here. And I know it's kind of hard for y'all to see because it's on a black palette, but you can see how this one's white. This one's like a tint of pink and this is a darker pink. We're going to take this and we're going to put this right here on the lid. Because when you go in with a lighter color on your lid, it makes your eyes appear bigger. That's how we do that. And it's the new trend. Good morning, baby girl. I got to carry me out of Charleston today. You just thought we'd come and stayed here. Yeah, my mom's got to go to Charleston for blood work to get ready for surgery. So I will be in the Charleston area today if anybody is wanting to get their hands on um, mascaras from Limelight by Alcone. It will be an MCU to do. And now we're going to blend this just a little. Just to lighten up some of that darker pink. Although, do y'all know what the new trend is this this um, year? The new make one of the new makeup trends. Besides draping, I'm really excited about draping. But one of the new trends this year is um, the mascara is twenty, then plus tax, so twenty one dollars. The new trend is red eyeshadow. And I've been telling y'all I'm gonna do this. I just haven't done it yet. But one of our blushes is red and I'm so excited to try it. So I know this darker pink is similar to red but it's not red and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I know I'll be wearing a lot of red um, bike week coming up. Really excited for bike week. My honey will be out on vacation, and we will be on the Harley. Mom will have the children. So exciting. So I've done a lot of my blending as I put my shadows on. So I'm just softening up these other lines where I went back and put in the lighter pink. And so I know it looks harsh, but it is what it is, and I kind of like it. And it, I did not put Do Not Disturb on my um, phone. But if you look, 
at my leggings. See how it has the darker pink and then the lighter pink? So, yeah. I was going to put black on, but I don't think I'm going to put black in it. Good morning, Crystal. Y'all, please feel free to like and share this broadcast. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? We don't mean none of this. Okay. So now we're going to go in with our foundation. Our foundation is, good morning, honey, um, wax-based. I see some new faces on that I don't know. I've never seen Watch Me, but there's lots of people who tell me, yeah, I watch you, and I don't even know who they are. But anyways, <clears throat> our foundation is a wax-based foundation made from RCMA. If any of y'all watch Wayne Goss on YouTube, you hear him talk about this. This is his favorite foundation. This is his go-to. There's several ways to use this. I normally go in with uh, my blender full. Um, and it's normally damp, which it still is. And this one is a lot squishier and bouncier. And I just get, I love this. I've never been one to put my makeup on with um, a blender full. But I was watching Wayne the other day using the RCMA foundation. And we're going to do it a different way. So we're going to take... I didn't bring my um, my spatula to dig my makeup out, so I'm going to use this point of this fingernail right here. So we're just going to take some out. And when I say a little bit goes a long way, like that's probably too much. We're going to put it to the back of our hand. And then we're going to go in and we're going to warm it up because it's wax based. What does that mean exactly, Brandy? <clears throat> that means um, it don't sit, it's not gonna clog your pores. It sits on top of your face. This is what's on the runway. This is what you see in the movies. This is it. This is it. So then I'm gonna go in with our, um, thanks girl. Um, we're going to go in with our um, buffer brush, a stif stifling, stippling brush. It's called the bu um, buffer blush on the website if you want to go grab it up. And I just, you see how I've dotted it all over my face. The one thing I will tell you, and we're going to just do circular motions back and forth to blend this in. I will tell you with our foundation you need to make sure you're really hydrated and it is buildable y'all can see my freckles like something whoa on um, this iPhone 7 you can see every little snooking cranny that I have um, it is buildable, but one thing I will say with this foundation you want to make sure you're really hydrated and that's why I love using um that's why I love I put on um, our zoom I put on our must do put on our must do and then I put on our foundation um, because the must do is a face oil and it's really hydrating so you want to make sure that your skin's good and hydrated um, before you put on our foundation well, that's with any foundation. So I am, I just wanted to show y'all that there, there's one way you can go in with our um, stippling brush. <clears throat> and I'll show you for the ones that are buffer brush. Sorry, I'll go in with a blender for now and show you how I use it. Just because I want a little more extra coverage because you can see these freckles, which is the new thing. That's another one of the 2017 new trends is freckles. People are going and getting those tattooed on and I'm over here trying to cover every single one of mine up. But with your blender full, you just want to take and set it on there and do a, a whole twist. And then you're still going to just dot it on there.
And this foundation, it can be sheer coverage, full coverage, whatever you want. Now, I'm not going to cover up all of my freckles because, like I said, that is one of the new trends. So, I've quit trying to cover them up. Not quit. Trying. Because, I mean, I can totally cover them up because this can be total full coverage. But it's not so more that I want to cover them up anymore since this is the new trend. I can just... <laughs> my natural beauty. I've always hated my freckles. Always, 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 always. And see, with Limelight, we have professional makeup artists that come on and train us. So, we learn so many different techniques and different ways to do stuff. It's just amazing. I didn't have that at my former company. But I mean, we have ladies that are Limelight beauty guides that do makeup for Beyonce, do makeup for Beyonce's um, dancers. Um, one lady does Duck Dynasty's makeup. So, um, if you've ever thought about getting into direct sales, the more I'm outside, the more my freckles pop. Me too, Ashley. And I can't stand it. Um, so, if you've ever thought about getting into a direct sales company, let's chat. Because not only is our products incredible and professional, and the training you get is amazing, the prices are amazing, the quality of the makeup is amazing, but the comp plan is amazing as well. It's designed to make sure that you are successful in your business. I'll tone this down just, just a little, or oh, that is the lightest. Um, I'm going to have to use this like this for one second. Um, it's designed to... Um, make sure you're successful in your business however because our we have seen so much growth <laughs> so do i they pop out everywhere um but because our um biz our company has seen such growth because everyone is getting their hands on the product, falling in love, then they, the prices are incredible, the comp plan, da 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 Everybody is, has jumped on, not everybody, but so many people has jumped on the limelight train. Um, we've had to put a freeze on enrollments for right now because we're just that fabulous. So, I would love to put you on the waiting list. I could put you in a training group, so once the freeze on enrollment is lifted, you will be trained with all the knowledge about our products. You'll be ready to go. So if it's something you're thinking about, let's chat. I would be more than happy to talk with you. In person, on the phone, FaceTime, whatever you want to Zoom, whatever. So, I always like to go back over, and this is just my OCD, um, with our stippling brush, just to make sure um, everything is good and blended. Now, if you've never tried this kind of foundation, which if you've never tried Mom Lights, you never have, not unless you went to the alcohol store in New York to try this. It's not a cream. My freckles, sorry y'all, I do not know how to cut that off. Yeah, Lorraine, I mean, freckles is what's what's in this year. That's one of the new trends. There are girls actually going and getting them tattooed on. Yeah, mine do too, Ashley. Um, if you've never tried this type of foundation, which like I said, if you've never tried Lime Lights or if you never, not only she went and bought our CMA foundation from the Alcone store in New York, that is our parent company. Um, I would be more than happy to send you a sample of our foundation. So um, if that's something you're interested in, just private message me this. Private, mes um, private message me this. Private message me um, a picture of you in natural sunlighting in. Um, your address, and I will, I'll work on it this weekend, getting out in the mail to you Monday morning. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Lorraine. I totally, 100% agree. But that's what they're doing. I don't know if you were on earlier, but like the red foundation, I mean the red eyeshadow. That's another one of the trends. Um, draping, which I'm fixing to go over right here, right now. Draping is um, another trend I'm fixing to show you. So our blender full, we have, it comes in this little magnetic mesh bag, um, which means it dries and you don't have to worry about no germs getting on it, nothing sitting in there. No, it's not going to. Okay, this is wax base. So what we want to do is we want to go in with our translucent powder. This white powder right here, it's translucent. And we're going to set this foundation. And yes, it's white on your brush but it's not on your face. So we're gonna set this. I gotta hurry up, cause it's time for us to roll out. Okay, so let's talk about draping. What is draping? And I haven't studied a lot, so y'all take it a little bit easy on me. I mean, I've studied it a lot, but it, I just, this is the first time I've used it. So draping is basically, um, you can still highlight and contour, um, but draping is, um, you're gonna take like two blushes. One's gonna be a lower blush, more like a close to a contour but not a contour if you get what i'm saying and then the second one is going to be basically right on the apples of your cheeks and it's going to be a pop of color if you get my drift so i'm going to show you and this is the first time i've tried it what is it baby uh-huh and so i'm going in with blush number let me see let me see let me see okay i'm going to go in with blush number three first and then i'll go in with blush I can't remember if this, I think this is five. I cannot remember because I didn't, I didn't number this one. Good morning, Miss Kim. So we're going in with our first blush color right here. So basically it's like the blushes from back in the 70s and 80s is basically what it is. And that's another one of the new trends. And it's actually called draping. Now, they are, some are using this instead of contouring. I'm not gonna do that. My face is too fat for that. I like losing that five to 10 pounds off of my face when I contour. So I will still be contouring, but, and it's coming up too, like, some women I watch put on their makeup and they still do this. They're, you know, they're, that was their makeup trends, the 70s and the 80s. Like, they put on their nose and all that. I don't do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. There's no rules to makeup. There should be, but, you know, there isn't. So, to each his own. So, we go in with a more neutral top. And then we're going to go in with that pop of color. So, we're going to go in with this pink right here. And if you look, very pigmented. Everything is with Lime Lots. So we're just going to focus this mainly right here. More so on your bone and the apple. Like your cheekbone is where you're going to put like that pop of color where that highlight would normally go. And I still will put my little stray bin up there. So that is a new trend, is this blush, blush, blush. Good morning, Joni. We're going over some of the um, 2017 trends. So I'm just gonna take and blend this in.
You're so sweet. You're the gorgeous one. I'm ready to see some more pictures of you. Some more pictures. All right, so I'm still going to um, contour my face because I just can't live without my contour. So basically with draping, this is what it is. You would basically be done with your makeup. But um, I still got to go in with my contour. So I'm actually, I actually use our bronzer right here. This is actually a, called a trio. And the great thing with, um, Brandy, have you seen the pictures from our trip to Charlotte to see the Jonas Brothers? You didn't tag me in them, but I would love to see those. Um, my girls still remember that, and I did never think they would, but we had an awesome time that time. Um, this is a trio set, and it's actually one of my favorites. Um, so you get your translucent powders. That's the set everything. You get the perfect bronzer, um, and you use that to bronze your face. I use it to contour mine. This is actually a blush. This is blush number six, and it's, real, it's a really... Um, pretty highlight on the cheekbones. Um, this is Oprah Winfrey's makeup artist swears by this foundation or this blush right here, number six. Yes, you heard me. Oprah Winfrey's makeup artist swears by blush number six. She wears it all the time. Yes, Lorraine, please tag me in it. I would love to see it. So if you don't know how to contour, basically you're going to do the fishy face and them little dips is where you're going to put it. You're going to start at your ear right here and because I've done the draping this morning I won't do too much but make sure you start at that ear and you're not going to go no further like don't carry this all the way to your mouth because if you do you're going to look like a pup a talking puppet um, I normally carry it right so like like the corner of my eye basically so see like I normally stop mine right here so like the corner of my outer eye is where mine stops then I know that lip to give that pout let's slenderize that nose slenderize this forehead Sorry, y'all. I just got this iPhone 7. iPhone 7 Plus. And I don't know how to put it on Disturb. So I guess that's something the kids has got to show me. I was in a, a Note 5 for two years and I absolutely loved it. But they didn't have the new Note when ever I went to get in. So I went with the iPhone 7 Plus. And I like it. I like it a lot more because um, the apps are so much better. So now I'm going in with blush numbers um, six. And that's what we're going to use as an illuminator, highlighter, whatever you want to call it. And you're just going to put that right on that cheekbone. So see when you drape, which is one of the new trends, if you're um, just hopping on when you drape it it's a lot on um, them cheekbones so I'm not going to go as heavy as I normally would I like putting it right there on the bridge of my nose not all the way down just right here on the bone and then I go right there on the corner of my nose I used to didn't do this and I used to say how crazy it is but you know what it's really not it's really pretty and then of course you know I'm gonna hit that Cupid's bow all right so now we're gonna go in with setting spray and we're gonna set it don't hold this really close to your face you want to hold it out and do like an X and then a T I love it, love it, love it. it 
All right, so I'm gonna go right here on my lid and I'm gonna put down some white liner just to open up these dark eyes. If you don't have a white pencil, you can absolutely use um, white eyeshadow. And see that setting spray has already dried. So now all we're going to do is we're going to go back in with our translucent powder. You don't have to. If you like the dewy look, stop here. You see how dewy it is. Stop here. Don't do nothing else. I prefer the matte look. So I'm going to go back in with my translucent powder. And I'm just going to mattify this is all I'm going to do. And again, for the ones just jumping on, we had a good audience this morning. I know some's left to get ready for work. Replayer watchers, y'all feel free to like and share. Is Mima up? I called her. Yeah, because what time is it? Yeah, what time is it? Um, 7 10. 7 10. Go make sure she's up. And then I like to go back in with blush number six, the highlighter. Pop it right here. Again, just because y'all know, huh? No, no not till 7 15. All right, so your face is done. We're bright and bold. So we're going to go ahead in with um, our mascara. It has the fibers infused and at one step, you're good to go. Just make sure you twist this out. Do not pump um, your mascara. If you do, it will dry it out. So I coat the tops. And it looks like I'm going to have to put on liner because I just messed up. Then I go at the base and straight out. Ladies, please separate them lashes make sure you get them all coated I think they are right there all right so there is one coat of a 3d fiber plus a mascara So we're going to go in again, same thing, do the top. And then at the base, roll and straight out. Roll and straight out. And then go through in there and make sure you separate them lashes. And that you coat every one of them lashes. Now, you're not going to have any flake in. It's one step fiber mascara. Now, if this isn't long enough for you, you can always go back in and add another coat. And I'll show you. I normally just do one on the second coat though I don't do the underneath they're on the tops of my lashes I just do these underneath
Good morning, Crystal. Lincoln. So now we're going to go on with liner number three, which is a pink. We're going to line the lips. I don't really have to do this because I'm, I'm going to use my um, Enduring Lips, which is a liquid. It goes on as a liquid or using cupcake. It goes on as a liquid and it dries to a matte finish. Thank you, Crystal. Yes, everyone commented on those. And I was going to do them this morning, but I wanted something a little different. But um, Mandy and Amber is really wanting to do um, a party so y'all can play in makeup. So you need to get them on the bow so we can get this done. But yeah, it's um, still on my Facebook page and it's actually um, on my YouTube channel. Sorry. I got a lot of compliments. Um, <laughs> I got a lot of compliments on that look. And I'm pretty much um, booked up for April. This is my aunt's having a knee replacement, and I'll be with her. And I got three more vendor events this month, so I'm pretty much booked up for April. But um, we can get in. Yep, we we'll get y'all in in May. So this is um, cupcake enduring lips. It's going to last for several hours, and it's a beautiful color. So if you make a mistake, you want to get that off as soon as possible. Actually, I am still doing makeovers. Um, you can come to um, Jess's or I can come to you. I just can't have no one at my house because my dog bites and she don't get locked up. She's like a little kid. Like if Wednesdays don't work for you, then I can meet you. But see, it has this tip, so I normally don't even line my lips. I don't even know why I did, but I normally don't even line my lips when I use this um, liner. I mean, these lips, enduring lip colors. And again, these are buildable. Um, if you don't like the matte look because it's well dry to a matte, Pick up one of our lip glosses and throw them over them. You see that blink? I love our lip glosses, and I love pulling them out in public, too. Um, and it has the mirror on the side. And now you got me thinking I need to go in and blacken this up, Crystal. What do you think? Should I go in and do some black on the lids and darken it up? What do you think? I think it might be too much pink. I think we're going to do it. I gotta go, we gotta get on the road.
What did he say? Darken it up? Hey, Miss Nana. We'll darken it up right quick. Well, go ahead. Mama says, I gotta get some out. Go. All right, Crystal. We're gonna darken it up. So we're gonna go in this jet block. Go ahead, Mom. They can't see you. Hang on, let my mom bypass. They can't see, I promise. She wasn't dressed, she was still in her pajamas. All right, so this isn't totally like it was the other day, but it's similar. Did you wake him up? Hey, Mandy. I love you too, baby girl. Be careful. It's raining out there. Have a good day. So this is similar to that look, Crystal. It's not quite like it was. <clears throat> but this would give you a gist of what it was. Or I can always tag you in the video. But I think the title of that video is Hair Day. Is I think is what the name of that video was, was Hair Day. Um, your sister's leaving you. So here's you a similar look to what it was, Crystal. And now I'm just going to go in with Gonna go back in with the slider pink. See what I do for my fans. Bye, I love you. Have a good day, baby. She's driving your car, right? Yeah. So where's her keys at? I don't know if she had them. I'm just gonna go back in with the slider pink out of the Lottie palette. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit more here on the top. And there you have it is the finished look of the day please like and share feel free to use it if it's helpful to you I got to run because I got to go get to Charleston thanks boo I wasn't going to add the black, but everyone fell in love with it when I was at the hair shop the other day getting my hair did, so. But Crystal, if you look up under um, Hair Day, that's where the look is. All right, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me so early this morning. <clears throat> I love you all. I hope you all have a blessed day. <clears throat> like and share. And you go have a blessed day. I love you too. Did you take your antibiotic? Love you all. Have a blessed day.